है गाइस वेलकम बैक सो गाइस वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर पी एडमिन पैनल फॉर ब्लॉगिंग वेबसाइट ओके सो गाइस नाउ लेट्स मूव टू आर एडमिन डैशबोर्ड एंड फेच ऑल द डेटा ऑफ रजिस्टर्ड यूजर्स सो गाइस वी हैव आवर टेबल सो फ्रॉम दिस टेबल वी विल फेच द रजिस्टर्ड डेटा सो गाइस लेट्स मूव टू एडमिन पैनल ओके यू आर नॉट ऑथराइज एज एडमिन ओके लेट्स लॉग आउट नाउ Let's log in as admin with at gmail dot com for five six seven eight and log in now. Perfect. So we are logged in, guys, to admin dashboard. So let's create a register user. Let's close all this file. Let's go to admin inside admin. Let's tell register dot php. Okay. So either you can tell view. view registered dot php and now guys as simple we have to include the header and footer let's take the design to copy and paste and yep let's copy and paste all set guys let's use column md12 card card header card body okay inside this card header h4 tag registered user so instead for this you can tell users copy and paste you can mention this as user and let's remove this active save let's see the output guys let's tell view register.php perfect so users where you can see the bread come and this is a card guys now guys let's take this and create one side bar so let's go to includes and this is your side bar and yep can move on here let's copy this control x and after the dashboard you can place it so here is a href and you can tell registered users save users refresh okay so you are getting this let's click on this you are on the registered user dashboard okay the wrong path let's call index.php refresh cool so registered user so guys now let's go to fetch the data let's move to registered users and inside this card body you just need to type a html table html table dot table bordered table head table row table heading where you can tell id name email and phone number guys and one edit button and a simple delete button okay let's begin with body table row table data so here you will paste that id and name and other things okay so let's see the output guys first refresh cool so we are getting the design let's get back let me just make this to small instead of keep it h4 cool so yeah guys now let's code begin with php open and close dollar query is equal to write a simple query select star from the table name so table name is users let's run this query guys query run where with the help of mysqli underscore query function and your database connection guys and then your query all set so for this database connection we have already included in 
authentication.php so let me just show you that where dbcon.php guys over here it's called so let's continue and yep so first let us check the data is available or not inside this table so you can use mysqli number of rows function which is greater than zero means then you will show the output let's use this query result run else you can show the output of what table row let's divide this php php close and php open where you will take table row and table data called span is equal to you will mention one two three four five six six no record found and once it is done let's use for each for each loop where you'll mention dollar query run as dollar row or item you can mention anything so with this let's divide php open and close Control X and paste that. So let's take this row and echo in this ID. Open PHP is equal to close where row of your ID. All set. So same way, guys, you are going to call all the fields. Yep. Let's take the name. So what name it is? You can just check it from your table f name l name email okay so let's take that f name l name and email okay so we have f first name then the last name okay and email all set and then edit and delete button guys for this you can tag a tag edit.php which will be register.php or else user you can just mention that and it let's give us let's design this button button success and copy and paste guys for the delete one so you can just keep delete and make this to as a button we don't require a type over here where this will be right now button all set save and let's see the output refresh cool so as we have successfully fetched the registered users data guys now if you want to show the roles also which is over here role as so let's give that option where you will mention role roles where so let's copy and paste and for this guys you will start with dividing it start with php and with php if your dollar row where rule underscore as okay which is double equal to one so if it is one you will show the as admin you can just echo it admin else you can copy the same role if role is as zero echo as your user save and refresh perfect so we have got this data guys and now guys let's continue next video to edit the user data with his roles and permission okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share